Hi, it's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine, and I'm here with another Tuesday Tip video tutorial. For my project today, I am featuring the March 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit. It is called Poppin' Birthday, and it was the sixth year anniversary of Paper Pumpkin by Stampin' Up! So the kit came in this cute, adorable birthday theme box with the confetti on it, which I just love, so I wanted to show the box. And this was the project, how it was made. There are supplies for eight cards, and they have this pop out in the middle of them, which I wasn't all that crazy about, to be honest. So I'm doing an alternative project in my sweet and simple style. This kit did have two stamp sets. So that was a great value. They did that for the special 6th um, anniversary. So there was a stamp set that had some sentiments. I'm using the happy and the birthday on my project. And then this is like pretty cool. This was a, a stamp set in the kit with all these numbers and a balloon. So you could um, stamp. And there are also some cutouts that also match this. So it definitely was a great value. So I just wanted to show the kit project, but this was the card that I came up with. It is just, like I said, a sweet and simple. I actually think it'd be great for a kid's birthday, but it's not overly kiddish, so you could also use it for an adult's birthday. So let's do our stamping first. There were these little banners in the kit. This is like a very light blue color. Then on the back it's white. So then you could also use white if you didn't want to stamp on the blue. I'm going to grab my stamps. And the ink color in the kit was Poppy Parade. So I just have my full size Poppy Parade ink pad I'm going to open up. And let's go ahead and ink these up. I'm going to try for the middle. Hopefully you don't see my head. That looks pretty good. Okay. So with the pop-out centers. I didn't want to use the pop-outs. I wanted to take the pieces and decorate the front of the card. So what I did was I cut, this is one of the pop-outs, and you can see on my project um, I used the middle and the bottom, but I actually cut them apart, so I cut them in half. So it's very simple. I just took my paper snips and these are folded on the edges for you, so I just kind of like folded in and scored, and then I just came in with my paper snips and just cut right down the side. And since they're open at the top and the bottom, I just need to do both sides. So just give it a little bit of a fold and crease. If you're a little shaky with your paper snips, after you get this off, you can bring it to your trimmer and give it a nice clean cut. So on this particular one, I'm not even going to use the yellow at the top, but you could if you liked the yellow. They're all cute. I really liked the confetti, so I kind of wanted to feature the confetti the most, because that reminds me of birthday cake. Mmm, I could go for a piece of birthday cake right now. So then, where it's scored in the middle, I'm just going to cut it straight down the middle. And again, if you're a little bit shaky, just use your paper cutter. And then you actually have two projects. You have supplies for two projects, which is kind of cool. Okay. This was one of the banners from the kit. So 
so I'm gonna use that. Then there was this sheet of these cool pop-outs with bows and party hats. So I just picked a bow in the coordinating poppy parade. And then there was this weird sheet of candles that were meant to, let me show you actually really quick. I guess they were meant to kind of like go across these at the top. I just cut one out and use one. So it's like a little pop out and I'm just going to cut kind of towards, actually now I cut. I only wanted a little bit to show so I actually cut it pretty short. So I'm just going to cut it and pop it out, a little tiny candle. And then you're going to think this is hilarious. Now all I need to do is adhere my pieces together. That's how kind of sweet and simple this card is. Although I do need the base of the card. So let me grab the base that is the confetti base. There are two bases. One is the confetti. And these are all printed for you. And then the other one was a gray diagonally striped one. And that actually would have been cute too, but I'm just all about the confetti on this one. So let's just go with it. So let's go ahead and get our pieces down. I'm just going to use a little bit of liquid glue. And actually, you know what, before I do that, I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of a trim on each side. A tiny bit, like I'm cutting off a little tiny sliver because I'm seeing it's not perfect. So if that does bother you, go ahead and give it a little chop. Okay, so a little bit of green glue on here, and I'm going to go towards the bottom. I want my little ruffled edge at the top that I can put on my next layer. and my bow. And my happy birthday across the confetti. Yes, I am going to cover some of that con cute confetti up. Not all of it though. Some of it's still peeking through there. And then I can adhere to my card base. And then I can put my little candle on and that's how quick and simple I converted this month's paper pumpkin. So let's get our little candle on there. I'm actually thinking on both of these, I will put one of the little party hat inside. So I can take one of the little party hats that I had and pop that out and adhere that right into the inside of my card. So there's a little surprise on the inside too. just like so. So that is my project for this week. I hope you like my sweet and simple paper pumpkin alternative project. If you leave me a comment by Monday, April 1st at midnight, you can have a chance to win a special paper pumpkin prize in the mail from me for tuning in and watching my videos. And I know it'll be Monday, April 1st, and that is not an April Fool's Day joke. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'll be back again next week with another project to share.